so it's the peak of summer now in the forest garden yeah. and now it's high season for berries Everything's in flower. There's a buzz of, of life and insects, birds, bees. The nice thing about berries is uh, even in a young forest garden, they're one of the, the first things that you really start to harvest. So this forest garden is five years old now and uh, we've had really three good years of harvest on berries already. So they, they start pretty quick. Um, the fruit trees are still pretty small, so we're not getting much fruit yet, but uh, the berries are really pumping out the production as well as the perennial vegetables. So it's, uh, it's, it's definitely important to get those in early so you can get an early harvest. Those are beautiful gooseberries right there. This is a new variety that we planted uh, two years ago. And it's uh, really just first producing its real first crop this year. It's a yellow, yellow variety. And, uh, it's pretty heavy, see that? So when I say the end of July is the kind of the high season for berries, it's because it's the highest diversity of different berries that we have. Right now, in the garden, we have the very last of the strawberries, the very last of the honeyberries, um, and then right now we also have the first black currants and red currants, as well as uh, josta berries, three kinds of gooseberries, um, all coming in at one time, and then of course we also have blueberries starting. Um, it's, a, it's, it's too early for some other berries, but we also have service berries. Um, next month will be Japanese wineberry. Looking forward to that one. And later than that, the aronios will be coming on. Uh, and of course, fruit season. So it's, uh, it's a wonderful time and uh, we really love berry season. mixed bowl of berries. Uh, some of them we keep separate and some of them we make a mix for our uh, morning smoothies. And in this bowl we can uh, see a mix of different raspberries, black raspberries, uh, they're in there somewhere, and then we have black currants, and two different kinds of gooseberries, we have three in the garden. Uh, this yellow one and a red one, very prolific. And then we have uh, blueberries, uh, service berries which are kind of mixed into the blueberries here they look similar these are the service berries beautiful large variety so and then oh there's a strawberry just the last of them coming through as well wonderful harvest look forward to that in winter especially so just off this one black currant bush you can see a uh, massive harvest two bowls look at that amazing what a production in just this one bush in the forest garden. And growing a bit in the shade of this plum tree, with uh, surrounded by herbs and vegetables uh, in a polyculture, and just producing massively. Amazing.